welcome or welcome back to my channel, Proud Maine. It's your girl, Ava, your loyal girlfriend. And in today's video, I'm going to be bringing you a DIY hair gel, um, a hair styler that is under $5. You heard me right under five dollars your girls got you um i typically use the Mayel organics um curling custard for type 4 hair even though i'm not type 4 but it works so well like i'm obsessed with it but on a good day i might get it for 19.99 when it's on sale and its usual price is like 25 23 to 25 dollars and anybody trying to spend that on the regular um so i came up with this diy and i hope you guys like it um don't forget to like comment and subscribe and hit that notification bell so you do not miss a video but before we get into this video i'd like to thank today's sponsor and that is skillshare so Skillshare is an online learning platform that offers an array of courses for creatives one of the things that I love about Skillshare is that I can do this at my leisure. I can do this in the comfort of my own home. I can log in and log out, pause and resume the courses at my leisure. So that's been a really key component in why I really enjoy Skillshare. Right now I'm taking this course on um, creating a successful Etsy shop from start to finish. And this is by Emily Cromwell. And I'm really enjoying this course because I know a lot of people always ask me, you know, are you selling this product when I make my DIY um, butters? and my oils everybody's hitting me up are you gonna sell this are you gonna sell this so I'm really looking looking into um, creating a website that is easily accessible for everybody so Skillshare has been really helpful in that way because they do have courses taught by professionals who have done it and that can really help me in that area so if you're interested in becoming a member on Skillshare I'm gonna leave my link down below and the first 1,000 people to click that link will get a one month free trial of Skillshare so let's jump right into this DIY hair gel. So first you'll need CMOS. This one I got from a West Indian grocery store and this packet cost me $1.99 and you can make a lot out of this. Um, CMOS is really good because it has like 90% of the minerals and vitamins that your body needs. So you can actually ingest this or you can use it as a topical treatment um, for your hair. It contains vitamins A, which improves the sebum production and it's a rich source of vitamin E, which improves hair growth. So this is a really good ingredient to work with. So I went ahead and rinsed the dirt and debris off the sea moss and then I let it sit in lemon juice water just to further cleanse it and get rid of that raw or fresh smell as we say in the Caribbean that fresh smell so lemon juice is really good to get rid of that so while my sea moss is being cleansed I'm gonna go ahead and prepare my aloe and you've seen me prepare this before I went ahead and washed it off in the sink and then I let the um, the latex drain out so I basically cut the bottom tip off and then I kind of leaned it against something like at a 45 degree angle and just let it drain out and it will you'll see this like yellow um, thing come out of it so yeah let that drain out and then you can go ahead to prepare it so as you can see I've extracted the aloe gel and then I put it in my blender just to blend it up and that way it's easier to work with this way so yeah and then I went ahead and strained it just to get that pulp out of it because when you use it um, without straining it um, those little bits can be left in your hair and that's a huge problem so you definitely want to strain it so here's what we're left with nice smooth mixture so now we are done preparing the sea moss I've rinsed it off again and here I have boiling water so I use spring water for this and I'm putting it the burner on medium heat so I just let the sea moss um, sort of break down and I'm not boiling this for more than five minutes you can see it like instantly um, starts to disintegrate and it becomes like a thick um, creamy like <laughs> consistency so that's exactly what you're looking for and you're ready to take it off the burner at this point um, you can definitely wait for it to cool down and then proceed to making your hair gel so I put it in the blender once again and I'm adding the aloe juice and then I'm adding my DIY hair oil I have a video on this some of my favorite oils that I put together and that's what I'm adding to this mixture and that's gonna be a great moisturizing element to add to this DIY gel 
So you have the gel component and then you have a, that can be hydrating as well. And then you have the moisturizing component. So once you're done blending, this is what it looks like. It looks creamy and smooth. And I'm so obsessed with the consistency right now. And you can store this in a little jar and keep it in your refrigerator. And then I'm just gonna use the rest of it to treat my hair today and my daughter's hair, of course. And yeah, look at the texture. It's like so creamy and it's honestly so amazing. I can't believe I've never tried this before. So I went ahead and washed my hair and I'm just doing a quick little detangle. I'm making sure that my hair is a little bit damped when I apply this. Look how creamy that is, guys. The slip on this is like none other the slip is everything and right now I have nothing in my hair I didn't even put heat protectant spray like nothing so my hair is just freshly washed and all I'm using uh, is a sea moss gel because I want to see how well it performs and I'm amazed by it my hair feels super moisturized again the slip on it it just feels so like amazing like luxurious it feels like I went out and bought this guys like no joke this was everything so as you can see my curls are looking good and you can see that the gel leaves no residue it literally just melts in my hair which I absolutely love so I went ahead and let my hair air dry it did leave a cast but once I broke the cast it was perfectly fine it wasn't crunchy I would say it has like a medium hold but I think it's buildable um, look how beautiful that looks. I'm not gonna lie. I'm impressed and this is my hair about 50% dry I had to go run some errands So I just wanted to come and show you guys really quickly what it started to look like and I'm super impressed So yeah, definitely give this a try guys if you want to save some coins And if you found this video at all helpful or informative Don't forget to hit that like button and subscribe and I'll see you in another one. Yas, you grow girl <laughs>